everybody, welcome to another edition of a chapter a day keeps the doctor away. My name is Alan, otherwise known as C Sweet, and I'm from ReverseThings.com as well as the Speak TV podcast. And this time I'm looking at chapter 446.1 or an extra from Hayate the Combat Butler. And it is Investor Y. And uh, I'm sorry I haven't been doing these for a while. I kind of got thrown in YouTube jail. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of lost momentum for doing them. If I was smart, in retrospect, what I would have done is I would have recorded these and then put them on YouTube because I didn't want to keep them on my hard drive and just let them build up until I got out of YouTube jail because I spent like a month in YouTube jail. And uh, I should have put them in there. And then when I got out of YouTube jail, then I should have just um, switched them on. Like if you notice the two JoJo's I did and, you know, too late. And so, yeah, I totally lost momentum. But I figure, all right, I'm back. Um, You know, got to get back into the groove of things. So I'm going to do, you know, you know, my favorite series to do. Definitely not my most popular. I mean, if I... You know, if I was doing that, I'd do like One Piece or, uh, you know, Claymore. But, uh, it's One Piece that keeps getting me thrown in my YouTube jail. Um, but I definitely do Claymore. But, uh, you know, I have to say it's my favorite series, so I'm going to catch up with that before I go back to anything else. But, uh, yeah, you know, good way to start kind of a frivolous episode, um, you know, with Yukiji. Um, uh, the, if you read any manga on Crunchyroll manga, which you should, because it's like almost no money to read a ton of manga, some of which is very good, including Attack on Titan, I mean, so, I mean, since we don't see an anime of that anytime soon, why aren't you giving them money so you can, you know, at least keep up with Attack on Titan, I mean, just one on hiatus, but still, you get the general... I mean, you should also just be reading Madakun on there, because that's what all the cool kids are reading. And Seven Deadly Sins. But, uh, yeah, if you have been, you know, roundabout, if you have been reading manga on there, you might have seen a title called Investor's V, and obviously this is a parody of that, um, and it's even more so, you know, as the chapter goes on, but... Kata does kind of like these crazy gambling and manga like that. So him being interested in kind of, you know, I mean, investment is kind of not that off from gambling. Obviously, if you invest cleverly, it is far more likely to pay off than gambling. But... Um, you know, there's still an element of gambling to it, thereby uh, I feel like it would appeal to a mangaka like, you know, Hara. If anything, you know, investing, you can put a lot more strategy behind it. So it's all the, you know, risk of, you know, and, you know, heart-pounding action of gambling, but you actually feel like, you know, you can make correct choices as opposed to, you know, kind of making correct choices with actual gambling. So, you know, a long tangent there. But, um, yes. Um, it's a manga. It's obviously what he has decided to do. And if you're going to have anybody screw up investing, then uh, Yukiji is uh, your uh, go-to woman. And, uh, you know, I've got to say, this chapter really makes me realize that as much as people kind of don't like Yukiji, I kind of really grown to like her just for what he, she adds to the series. But I feel like she's a spice that you can't use too much. I feel like Kada wisely dusts off Yukiji, uses her for about as much as you know, she would be good, and then throws her back 
into, you know, the back catalog of characters, because I feel like she's somebody who could easily wear out her welcome. I mean, I know for some people, whenever she shows up, she wears out her welcome, but I like her, and I feel like Hada knows how to not make her outstay her welcome. Because if she was constantly, you know, scheming and coming up with bad plans and stuff like that, I feel like she'd really even wear on me. But I feel like since he only whips her out every once in a while, or for like whole arcs like this, it's pretty okay. She's you know, entertaining. But yes, she gets, you know, basically her yearly bonus. And she's like, oh man. I'm totally gonna, you know, make Hina proud and make a ton of money because I'm gonna invest in the best thing, a bunch of lottery tickets. And surely if I buy so many lottery tickets, one of them has to win big and I'll even make all my money back and more. I'm the cleverest Yukichi. And obviously, Yukichi is clearly not a mathematics or probability teacher. I think we've, like, long since established that. So, um, you know, all her tickets lose because also she kind of has Hayate luck. And so she goes to uh, Aki, uh, Aika, I'm sorry. She goes to Aika for investing advice because, as we find out, she is the richest student in, you know, the school, even richer than Nagi at her height, and apparently even better at than and investing than Nagi at her height. So, uh, she's like, if anybody can teach me how to be rich, it's Aika. And I gotta say, you know, since we've had a backlog of chapters, Aika's really shown up a lot recently. I mean, she's not, like, the most prominent character, so it's a little bit weird that she's, like, popped up so much recently. I mean... I remember when, uh, you know, her and Mado, Secret Maid, showed up. Like, they did not really appear frequently for a while after their initial introduction. And, you know, obviously Secret Maid there, being Nagi's friend, shows up a lot. But, man, I got other than a few love guru scenes and maybe one or two other backgrounds that were like, Oh, I mysteriously am connected to the, you know, the King's Jewels. She hardly appears, so it's really weird that, like, these last few chapters, she is constantly popping up. But, you know, for some reason, Hala is like, Nope! Ika! Gotta throw Ika on everything! So I'm like, alright, whatever. I mean, I'm kind of neutral about her character. I mean, I don't dislike her, but... She's never really super done anything that makes me like, oh man, an Ika chapter, awesome. I mean, I like Yukiji. I look forward to Yukiji chapters more. That This is a lot. So, I mean, once again, not a bad character, just like odd. I'm like, all right. I guess she's like somebody's, you know, I love sadistic characters or something. I don't know. I mean, but you've got Athena, so, hmm. But yes, yeah, so, of course, you know, she's like, well, the problem with Kiji is anytime you get money, you burn through it. And that's not how you make money. Any money that you spend is money that's gone. And she's like, technically, you know, if you want to become rich, you got to follow Warren Buffett, which, you know, it, you know, might seem like, why did you randomly pick Warren Buffett? But... If you've ever read Investor Y, you'll know, uh, Investor Z, you'll know that um, they love Buffett-sama. And, like, there's this one girl who thinks, like, he's super dreamy. So, um, clearly, you know, this all always going back to Warren Buffett is uh, more of a Investor Z reference. I'm kind of a little on that series, like, obsession with Warren Buffett. But, so, yeah, we basically have Yukiji totally misinterpreting or basically being lazy about all of Warren Buffett's kind of, you know, hard work and stratagem advice. 
as basically Gukiji serves as, you know, the ultimate example of what not to do with one's life. And, you know, she's like, oh, so I got to invest money. And she's like, I don't have any money. And then, you know, she has to go and basically go around asking people. And, of course, she asks Hina, and Hina's like, F no, sis. It's just like, no, 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 no. It's not for, like, a crazy get-rich scheme. It's for investing in the stock market. Like, Ika, and she's like, click. And then, you know, once again, one of Hada's gags, the character, you know, one, you know, basically the irresponsible character mentions, you know, another character, and the person on the phone hangs up and calls the, you know, responsible character, and, you know, why are you giving this advice to this jerk? And so, yeah, it happens with Hina, and I guess, like, don't drag me into this! So, yeah, um, just a fun, uh, you know, of course, in the end, she gets, you know, an advance on her paycheck and her bonus and Aika's like no 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 that's way too much money you should just start investing small and oh no 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 and but you know Yukiji almost like seems lucid and not like a total failure of a human being every once in a while in the chapter she's like I'm gonna look for something that everybody always needs and, you know, just a company that, you know, will slowly gain, you know, money over the years because people can't do without it. And I guess, like, you know, actually, it's not a bad strategy. You know, as much as we all kind of make fun of Yukiji, you know, in the end, she did become a teacher. And, you know, that's actually, a, like, the best way to do it. You know, that's not a get-rich-quick scheme. That's a solid investment, you know. Maybe she'll surprise us. And then she goes and spends it on lottery tickets and loses it all. And, you know. Yeah. Also, i got to say, now that I think about it, all these chapters really have been doing a lot to undermine um, Ika's, like, kind of cool as a cucumber, like, totally unfazed personality. Because we see her being like, holy, oh, what is this woman doing a lot? And I feel like these last few chapters have been doing a lot to just basically be like, yep, I could, could get, like, freaked out and like, what the hell are you doing just as much as anybody? But, uh, yeah, once again, frivolous chapter showing us that Yukiji is kind of you know, a wastrel and kind of a waste of a human being. But, uh, fun. Glad to see her doing stuff. Um, Yukiji, you know, basically bringing out the older sister in Hina, even though she is the younger sister. Um, not much to say about it. Um, maybe somebody will uh, actually read Investor Z on Crunchyroll because of this chapter, but I doubt it. But, uh, you know, it's definitely a different manga, uh, just like Hayate. All right. Um, see you guys next time.